Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you with us as we worship the Lord. Sit and back and enjoy as we share the good news of the gospel. We invite you to participate along with us as we sing songs of praise, read the Bible, and pray for those in need. The Hour of Harvest prayer team is standing by to take your prayer requests, praise reports, and lead souls to the Lord. You may call us at 606-464-4250 at any time during this program. May this program be a place where you feel accepted, loved, forgiven, and encouraged in the Lord. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. From our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome to the service tonight. We hope you'll stay with us and we have phone operators ready to take your call if you need to call or if you have a good praise report. This is Thanksgiving season and, and we're supposed to be learning to be thankful year round every day. We have so much to be thankful for but being like we are, we forget sometimes, and so uh, when the whole nation says, well, it's time to be thankful, then we sure, surely should be. And so if you have something you want to thank the Lord for, a prayer that he, that has been answered, well, I'll call and, uh, and we'll be, be sharing it with you, others. And so we welcome each of you, especially our sick and shut-ins and those that uh, will be, uh, I was just talking to someone today about all the people that are gathering for Thanksgiving dinner and having all their family in, what a good time that is. That's, a, that's really a big blessing. And, but then there's some that's going to be in the hospitals and nursing homes and, and uh, they don't have a lot of family or, or can't be with them. And so it's, it can be a potentially a uh, sad time as well as a good time. And so we have to choose. Do we let the circumstances change us to, to being grumbly and, and discontent, or do we still thank the Lord for the fact that we're this side of eternity, we're still able to talk and witness to people and, and do something for Him. So let's choose to be positive and instead of think dwelling on what we don't have, Let's dwell on what we do have. If you have a roof over your head, if you have food to eat, uh, clothes to wear, uh, there's so much to be thankful for because you just listen to the news. A lot of people don't have any place to lay down at night. They don't have food to eat, no clothes. I, I heard one say the other day that some of the homeless people have to wear their clothes so they just rot off of them. And, you know, we have so much to be thankful for, and we're so ungrateful sometimes. So we need to improve on that. So we can. It's up to us. Let's be thankful for what God has done for us. All right. We have some scripture that is uh, going to help us because it gives us assurance of the Lord's presence and, and who he is to us. Psalms 46 says, God is our refuge and strength, a present help in trouble. Therefore will we not fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. There is a river, the streams thereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, and she shall not be moved. God shall help her in that right early. The heathen raged, and the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice, and the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. <clears throat> the God of Jacob <clears throat> is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord, what desolation he has made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the ends of the earth. He breaketh the bow and the cutteth the spear in sunder, he burneth the chariot in the fire. Here's one we should remember. <coughs> Be still and know <coughs> that I am God. <coughs> Be still and know that I am God. <coughs> I will, <coughs> oh, excuse me. 
<coughs> maybe this cold weather is going to take care of some of her allergy. <coughs> I sure hope so. <coughs> but that verse is so good, I want to, I'm going to get it read if it takes me 10 minutes. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. That's what the Lord said. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Psalms 46, 1 through 11 verses. And so tonight, uh, as, uh, as we spend this time exalting the name of the Lord, let's be thankful for what he, that He is with us. That, and we can help to exalt His name by giving Him praise. Let's pray right now. Father, in Jesus' name, thank You for Your Word. We thank You, Lord, it never changes, it never weakens, but it's always there. And You said You would be with us, and we are depending on that, that You would be our refuge and our strength. And Lord, You know our strength is, is gone most of the time we depend upon what you give us. And so tonight, Lord, we think about so many people with their mind on the holidays and the sadness and things that could be. But Lord, help them turn that around and be thankful for, for the ones that they have to, in the past have had to love and to be a family and to be acquainted with and, and to, for the love they shared and for the good things you've done for us down through the years, Lord. Help us to remember those things and not to be uh, grumbling and looking at what we don't have. But Lord, help us to look up and know that our, if we belong to you, that someday you're going to take us home. And that's when everything will be perfect. And so bless each person that has joined us for this service. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, <clears throat> tonight we have... Uh, um, some new singers with us, and they're they're from Lexington, Kentucky, and they're the Peel Brothers, and uh, the phone number is eight five nine seven zero five sixty six fifty six, and they have uh, they have written all of the songs I believe that they're going to sing tonight, so. Um, so anyway, this is the number if you want to call them later on. Don't call them right now. They're going to be singing for us. So, all right, let's welcome the Peel Brothers. Uh, I'm Eugene Peel, and this is my brother Odell. And uh, We sang for the Lord, and uh, we attend uh, New Haven Chapel down at Nicholasville. And uh, we, I've been going there about five years or longer, six years maybe. So we're going to try to sing some for you. And I want to thank the Lord. I want to thank her for letting us be here. And thank uh, uh, WJ, uh, WLJC for letting us be here, too. Thank you all, all. And may God be with you. And the first song I want to do is called Jesus' Picture Upon the Wall. I'm going to call somebody to paint this home. Then I know I won't be alone. We move out the kitchen table and bring in the cross. And we'll paint Jesus' picture up on the wall. And we know Jesus is here. And we kneel and pray And let him lead the way So come and help us paint this home Then you won't be alone And you will see his picture upon that wall And we will make it our new home so I'm going to haul somebody to paint this home. We move out the kitchen table and bring in the cross. And we'll paint Jesus' picture upon the wall. And so let 
Jesus leads the way and he'll be in heaven someday. Oh, Lord, we pray. We will make it home one day. I'm going to hug somebody to paint this home. Then I know I won't be alone. We move out to kitchen table and bring in the cross. And we paint Jesus' picture up on the wall. And so let Jesus lead the way. And we in heaven someday. Oh, Lord, we pray we'll make it a home one day. <coughs> Listen, God, I drove around the church, and he called my name. I drove around the church, I was busy. And the noise got louder that I heard. And Lord, I looked down and seen my Bible beside me. And Lord, you should have seen the happy faces. When they opened the door and they said, come on. And Lord, you know I had this funny feeling. Like I never had before And so I went and kneeled beside him And said, Lord, please forgive me And show me the way home one day I drove around the church till I was dizzy And the Lord calling my name and all them people all around me talking about the family and the friends and this is all about Jesus and how he will lead the way and take us to heaven someday I drove around the church till I was dizzy And the noise got louder that I heard And so I went and kneeled beside him And said, Lord, please forgive me And show me the way home and this is all about Jesus And how he'll lead the way And take us to heaven someday Amen to Jesus uh, <clears throat> I'm going to sing one now called Old Guitar in Heaven I'm going to play my old guitar up in heaven I'll be singing a few old gospel songs And there'll be angels rejoicing out around us And we'll see Jesus sitting on God's throne There'll be no heartaches in heaven No more earthquakes or floods There's only one way that we can make must be covered by the blood Now mom and dad are going to heaven And Lord, you know I can hardly wait Until we meet again up yonder Just inside those pearly gates I'm going to play my old guitar up in heaven and I'll be singing a few old gospel songs And there'll be angels rejoicing all around us We'll see Jesus sitting on God's throne We'll have a happy reunion With all our families we'll see And I hear my 
mama saying, son, I'm glad you made it. We'll be with Jesus for eternity. I'm going to play my old guitar up in heaven. And I'll be singing some good old gospel songs. And there'll be angels rejoicing all around us. We'll see Jesus sitting on God's throne. We'll see Jesus sitting on God's throne. It's called Up on the Hilltop. Up on the hilltop in that butland. That's where Jesus made his stand. I can hear him calling my name. But up on the hilltop, it seems to fall away. But up on the hilltop, we will go one day. That is what Jesus gave his life for us that day. Our Heavenly Father was living all the way. And someday we will see that hilltop that seems to fall away. That is why the hilltop seems special to us. That is where he showed us his love. Up on the hilltop in that front land, that's where Jesus made his stand. He is up a waiting for you and me. That is where Jesus gave his life for us that day. Our Heavenly Father was living. Isn't that called, Lord, you are on my mind? Who's at my door is standing? It is Jesus waiting for me. But while he was on the cross, I was on his mind. Now there's nothing in the world could never take the place of God. But when my soul needs healing, and I see it's fire, and I want to take nothing for his love, and I will make it into heaven someday. But when I was dumber, and then I was humbled down, I wouldn't take nothing for my Lord. But when he was on the cross, I was on his mind. You couldn't give me all of your silver and all of your gold. And I still wouldn't take nothing for my Lord. And I praise the Lord. He been so good to me, and when he was on the cross, I was on his mind. But when he was on the cross, I was on his mind. And you couldn't give me all of your silver and all of your gold, and I still wouldn't take nothing for my Lord. I praise the Lord, he's been so good to me, and when he was on the cross, I was on his mind. Amen. Uh, this is a song here <coughs> my sister Jewel Blevins wrote. Uh, I'm going to do it for you. It's called Paradise with Jesus. 
I'm heaven bound for glory with Jesus Christ my Lord. I will abide with my Savior by my side. There be no more tears of falling from my eyes, and no more howling winds, storm clouds rolling by. I will be set free from pain and sorrow, and I won't worry about tomorrow. Someday you call me to paradise my home, for I have turned to Jesus and he's waiting on the throne. What a day there will be when my Jesus I will see, and as he takes me by the hand and leads me to the promised land, my Savior set me free. <laughs> When he calls me, what a day, what a day that will be. Jesus was crucified and died on that old tree. There is joy and peace within my heart. I want to give thanks to you, Lord above, for the blessing give to me and all of your love. I will be set free from pain and sorrow And I won't worry about tomorrow Someday you call me to paradise my home Now I've turned to Jesus and he's waiting on the throne Now I've turned to Jesus and he's waiting on the throne It's called Lord Press Arbor Churchy. To love someone more every day. And to help a child find the way. And put a smile upon the face. And follow Jesus all up the way. When somebody falls, you pick them up. And help them find the way. And they feel better every day. In my heart I do believe, and I put all my trust in Him, and His holy words that sound so sweet. With His words I do believe. Look after all the children every day, and they put a smile on your face. Life He gave me that day, and every prayer He answered for me. And Lord, we do of you. And watch over all our children do. And show them the way. And make it easier for them every day. And the smile we receive. And the voice sounds so sweet. When they talk to him. And he tells them what to do. And it gives me fresh in To love someone more every day And to help a child to find the way And put a smile upon the face And follow Jesus all of the way And the smile we will see And the voice sounds so sweet when they talk to him and he tells him what to do and he gives him his breast in two. Amen. <coughs> Listen, call it. Lord, read me across the river of Jordan. I'm going to go to heaven. And wait for my loved one to come home And cross the river of Jordan And do that promised land I cried to cross the river of Jordan It was too deep and wide And when I went to the bottom 
that Lord poured me to the other side. And that's how I met my maker to take me home someday. And so, Lord, lead me across that river of Jordan and to that promised land. And I will wait for my loved one to come home. And Lord, you know I cried so hard to make it. And sometimes I don't understand. And Lord, I am so tired and I just want to go home. And so Lord, take me home. Lead me across the river of Jordan and to my new home. And I will see my loved ones again. And I will wait for my family to come home. I want to go to heaven and wait for my loved ones to come home. And cross the river of Jordan and to that promised land, I cried to cross the river of Jordan, ever too deep and wide. And when I went to the bottom, the Lord put me to the other side. And that's how I met my maker, to take me home someday. I said, Lord, lead me across. That river of Jordan and to that promised land. Thank you. This, uh, <clears throat> next song I'm going to do is one I wrote last week called uh, Jesus is Great. Go something like this. Presence and grace, he set me free. He was crucified and nailed to that old tree. And laid in the tomb, he arose from the dead. The fire in the blood that he shed. And leaving in his spirit, and God gave his son. Until the work on earth is done. And wearing a crown of thorns on his head. I live my life for him because he paid it all. And Jesus died for you and me. He set us free, yes, he set us free. And don't let the devil in cause he's so full of sin. What a great price Jesus paid. On the cross with his life he gave. Get on your knees and repent And let Jesus in There's people that don't go to church anymore They want every day to open the door And they stay tired of attending the worship of the Lord Better get Jesus in your life and fight the devil's war. Jesus died for you and me. He said us three, yes, he said us three. Don't let the devil in, cause he's so full of sin. What a great price Jesus paid. And on that cross with his life he gave. Get on your knees and repent and let Jesus in. Get on your knees and repent and let Jesus in.
Let's call it my heart cramer at Jesus' feet. I was walking down the street, my heart cramer at his feet. And I can't help it when I see him. And today somebody else passed by and they look so satisfied. We can't help it when we see Jesus. And I look up at the cross and Jesus standing there. And we know he's there for us. And somebody else kneels at his feet and they look satisfied. We can't help it when we see Jesus. And so come and kneel at his feet. And let him save you today And he will show you the way And somebody else passed by And they were so satisfied We can't help it when he is there But the day will come And we won't be alone And Jesus by our side and we we'll make it home with him and I looked up at the cross and Jesus standing there and we know it's there for us and somebody else kneeled at his feet and they looked so satisfied we can't help it when we see Jesus. And so come and kneel at his feet and let him save you today. And he will show you the way. But the day will come and we won't be alone. And Jesus is by. This can call it my faith for Jesus. By faith I will see the Calvary, and I will see his pain upon the cross. Lord, turn me away of all my sins and show me the way. By faith I will see my praise to be And take me to Calvary He died upon the cross To save a sinner like me And praise the Lord for what he's done It's been so good to And by faith I believe of what he done upon the cross at Calvary. He saved us that day and he took our sins away. And he saved us that day and thank him for that. But by faith I believe my praise to be and take me to Calvary. He died upon the cross to save a sinner like me and praise the Lord for what he's done. It's been so good to us. Thank you, Lord. This is called an angel in heaven. <laughs> Lord, you made all the flowers. You made all the trees. I need anything. I have the best. 
family I waited so long before I turned to you I prayed to you Lord that you will save me too I walked down here in the valley and Lord I'm walking with you on that golden shore and all Singing around me For now I'm in heaven With you forevermore Those tears you shed for me I do not need I call upon the Lord today Before he took me away I'm with the Lord now, so happy and so free. You know that my dear Savior, He has saved me. I've gone to my new home in the sky. Only the dear Lord knows, don't ask me why. Another angel up above The Lord has taken me And all his precious love I walk down in the valley Now Lord I'm walking with you on the golden shore And all of your angels are saying Thank you, uh, the Peel Brothers from Lexington and Nicholasville has been our singing guest tonight. We uh, thank them for coming. And uh, so their phone number, if you want to get in touch with them, is 859-705-6656. And we appreciate them coming. And uh, we have uh, uh, some special guests here. We have, each evening, we are blessed to have uh, volunteer phone operators that come and take your calls. Many of you have talked to these people and, and you've had your prayers answered because there's prayers of agreement went on. And you very seldom hear from, from this group of people that help make up uh, the Air Harvest Ministry. And that is our phone operators or uh, the, the ones that come to answer phones. So tonight we're going to get to hear from them and uh, and see what how they uh, see the work of God and what's going on and uh, and how what's on their hearts tonight. And so first of all, we want to introduce uh, Dottie Combs. She's been with us a long time and a great worker. And so, uh, Dottie, what's on your heart tonight? Well, I'm very thankful to be here at WLJC. Most of all, I'm glad I know the Lord as my personal Savior, and I know that when we can talk to people we could understand a lot of their situations. So we're so thank I've met so many people through this, and I say I've met them because <laughs> we become good friends. Uh, we talk to them, we love them, we enjoy them, and we want to help them in any way we can through the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> now people get saved. We know mm -hmm. that, that it, this is a wonderful thing because this station has a, a prayer room where we can call in they can call in and they can get saved. They can talk to you about their problems. You can pray with them. I think it's just wonderful to be able to do that with 
someone. Mm -hmm. I think that the Lord has certain people that can do that. Mm -hmm. And I'm very proud to say that we have some volunteers upstairs that are yes. excellent at mm -hmm. that, Margaret. Mm -hmm. And we send them downstairs and Margaret talks to you about them later. They're prayed over again after we pray upstairs. Mm -hmm. So I'm so thankful that we've got that up there because we know exactly that this TV station reaches so many people, you know, uh, hospitals, uh, it, your nursing homes, mm -hmm. people that can't get out. We know that this station is very important to them because they cannot go to church and they're very interested in knowing what's going on with the Lord Jesus Christ. So we, mm -hmm. we do our best to promote the Lord Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and let him know that we are here and we're gonna spread the gospel here at mm -hmm. WLJC. Yes. Well, thank you so much, uh, so much, uh, Dottie, and uh, uh, we uh, uh, we know that so many people, they've even, uh, even some of them have gotten accustomed to just one or more of the singer, of the yeah. people praying for them, and they get a little prejudiced, <laughs> Peggy, and they'll say, well, Dottie's yeah. been, uh, when she's off, well, they'll say, well, they're going to talk to Dottie, won't they? What do they do, Peggy, when, you, when that happens? They'll request someone else. Yeah, <laughs> they become friends to all of us. They're our family. And when they call in one prayer, we, we pray with them. We listen to them, what their prayer request is. And they do become a part of us, and that's a part of them. You know, they count on our prayers. You know, yes. it's always good to know that somebody is praying for you. Yes. And it, it just reaffirms your faith and believing that God's going to move. And we do go through dry spells, like you know, our prayers don't get answered, but then all of a sudden it's like every prayer we pray gets answered right away. But um, it is wonderful to talk to the people and encourage them. Yes. And they do have their picks that they want mm -hmm. uh, you know, to talk with. It's just because they're comfortable mm -hmm. with them. And yes. we're blessed to know them and blessed to be able to do what we can for them. Okay, uh, well, it's uh, <coughs> many of them don't they tell you that they're uh, this is the only place they can call and get a prayer? Yeah, I mean they can call places mm -hmm. and ask for prayer, but we we do it here. Yeah, we pray with them right then uh, because a lot of them are lonely and a lot of them Amen. need somebody right then to go to prayer for yes, them. Yes, they do. And uh, I mean I know that. You, that you all have seen this over and over uh, about what, and there have been a lot of folk that have called in uh, that has been very uh, emotional and, and in a very serious condition, even talking about taking their own life. Yeah. Well, uh, we can be thankful that we're, through prayer and through the work that we do, was able to get them some help and pray with them and, uh, and they're still, still here mm -hmm. still with us so yeah. <clears throat> so um, do you you ladies uh you feel like loneliness is the biggest part of uh of a lot of the older people yeah a lot of them does live away from families and they live a little ways from everybody and it's the only outreach that they've got coming into them mm -hmm. and it blesses them knowing that we know them and they know us and they can call and ask for prayer and it, it's a big comfort to them. Yes, yes, and so, uh, 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 Dottie, uh, as on the phones as well as our letters, the number one request is for the uh, salvation of Amen. families. Amen, mm -hmm. Families Amen. are closer to us than anybody. Amen, families will be there when when other things are gone. Mm -hmm. The family will be there to help you through your trial. It doesn't make any difference. The feelings and emotions, they all leave because mm -hmm. we're gonna gather together for family mm -hmm. anytime. So mm -hmm. it's very important for these people to have someone in their life. Yes. Very mm -hmm. important. And if they're lonely and they wanna to talk to somebody, we're here, mm -hmm. we're here for them. So, it's an important situation here at WLJC, or we feel like it's very important for them to be able to call in 
and say, look, I need help with this, yeah. I need help with this. Uh, you can use Bible verses with them or you can talk to them. Just let them talk. Mm -hmm. Just let them talk mm -hmm. and tell you their trials and pray with them and ask them if they're yes. saved and yes. want to get yes. saved. Yes. So it, it's, a not, it's really a good situation here mm -hmm. at WLJC. And uh, we, uh, we, it takes a lot of work and effort and everything to uh, keep this going, but we, it's worth it. Like uh, here <coughs> tonight, we got a call from uh, Connecticut, and uh, uh, Colleen has, uh, has called, and she, we hear from her sometimes, and from all the other states, and uh, well, you just, you never know who is, uh, who is being reached and what, uh, the gospel, you know, the good news that Jesus loves you. A lot of people never have that said to them, isn't it, Peggy? That's right. They never have anybody to remind them that the Lord loves them and that he wants something better for them. They've been beat down and, and uh, uh, their, their view on life is a little distorted and so, <laughs> yes, so we go back to the word and amen. that's why yeah. that's why that it makes the difference in yes it? and keeps us and it uh, it just means it means so much to have have uh, good phone operators like these ladies and others that's up there right now uh, to to answer answer the uh, phone calls and uh, we appreciate the fact that we have been a, a lot to them as this ministry has at pointing them to Jesus because Amen. we can't heal them, we can't save no, them, we but, can't. but we can sure tell them about yes, who we can. Sure can. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so the Lord's done a lot for us personally, oh, hasn't yes, he? yes, he sure has. And I'd like to thank the people out there that prayed for me. I went through a terrible illness, we will say, mm -hmm. but I know that you, I had the prayers of God's people. I thank you so much for that. And I believe combined prayer causes miracles. Yeah. I really and truly do. And I thank you for praying for me. I, mm -hmm. I know that without God's help in that situation that uh, I was not going to survive. So we just absolutely believed in God and trusted in God and trusted in the prayers of God's people. And I thank you for that because many yes. times we don't thank people for what yes. they do do. Mm -hmm. But I do want to thank you because I know a lot of you were praying for me and you made me well aware that you were praying mm -hmm. for me. And I appreciate that so much because combined prayer helps it's, in all areas. It oh sure yes. does. doesn't make any difference. And, yes. and I know we pray every night upstairs. We pray that, and over each other and mm -hmm. pray over the prayer requests that we've gotten that night because it's, it's uh, important that we all combine our faith and help mm -hmm. each other. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, I, I appreciate it. I love this station and I appreciate all the people that call in because we are just glad to be here for them. Yeah. And it's important that we're here for them or I feel yes. like it is. Well, yes. And you have some family all the way out in Texas, don't oh, you? Oh, yes. I have a son in Texas and uh, two beautiful granddaughters. Okay. And uh, they're, they're very fond of WLJC, and I'm very thankful for them. I mm -hmm. sure am. And I'm thankful WLJC reaches so many different places. Yeah. I yeah. mean, we're not, we're not the only ones here in Bateville, Kentucky. It goes all over. Oh, yes. And it's not just in Kentucky. And I praise the Lord for that. Mm -hmm. Because so many people, our loved ones, mm -hmm. can watch it. Mm -hmm. And it's just wonderful. So I, I really, really think it's a wonderful program here that we have. I think WLJC is a very, is a very informative uh, station because we have the nightly services and then we have Sunday we have a, a lot of preaching and and we just have a lot of good programming at night so it's good it's mm -hmm. good so I did my I did you know I'd promote it anytime because mm -hmm. I really believe in it yes well let's see uh, uh, I'm not sure how many years uh, you we've been here 42 <laughs> years uh, <laughs> and not I've 420 here, years now, Dottie, but, but we feel like it's 420 oh, yes, sometimes. Yes. But don't I've we? enjoyed it. I really yeah. have. I really and, have. Uh, I we, love it. And, you know, we were just talking, was it last night, uh, about uh, 
uh, about going through and finding names of people that was here uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 40 years and less ago, and they're, they're all gone now. Their work That's is done. Right. So right. we still have a chance to speak for the Lord. Right. And you know, uh, it's, it's important that we say, say how we feel. It's important for the world to hear, hear prayers are going up. Mm -hmm. That's what I oh, like yeah. because, uh, you know, sometimes people think, well, only, only church people that's inside a church building is supposed to be praying. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, no, that's, I, I that's not quite that. true, is yeah, it, Dottie? That's not quite no. true at all. So, if the Lord is with us at all times, which we know it is, then why do we find it strange to talk about praying or talking to Him? That doesn't make good sense, does mm -hmm. it? We should be as more comfortable with Him than we are each other. Yeah. And yeah. because, yeah. Uh, you know, even your best, your closest friends, you, you sometimes hate, well, I hate for them to find out I'm thinking this or that, or <laughs> I'm, I'm mad right now and I don't want anybody mm -hmm. to know it. But the Lord already knows it. He knows it. it. Do you and imagine? so we might as well fess up and, and start trying to do better. Yeah, amen. <laughs> so, so anyway, uh, I appreciate so much our, our phone operators. This is why, you know, you hear us talk about them all the time and mention them at night when we tell you they're up there. Uh, and when we talk about up there, we, we're we talking about a studio that's got, uh, how many steps is that up there? 20, 30? At least, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, we, uh, it's upstairs and it's in, uh, a room that I always had for my prayer. Um, uh, we had Bible study and, and ladies' retreats and so forth, and and now we're just using it for uh, the phones are up there, and that's where the people. It's a uh, it's like a hospital's birthing room. This is where people become <laughs> ag comes born again because they could they pray and they get acquainted with the Lord, and so uh, that's you hear us. You know, you hear say sometimes we say from up in the prayer room. Well, that's what we're we should have some pictures to show you, but you'll have to take our word for it tonight. We don't have them, do we? <laughs> but um, all right, uh, girls, tell us how how you feel. What about uh, it's about time to pray for all the, all these requests that has come in, and uh, yeah. uh, we're going to do that. And but uh, what uh, what is your main concern for uh, for the world and for our families right now, Peggy? You wanna stay closer to God and let the Lord guide us, and let's listen to Him. Okay, Dottie. Keep them covered in prayer. Okay. They. Uh, they may not go far, but we can always pray for them, regardless of the situation. We can hold our families yeah. up in prayer. Mm -hmm. And they can't stop us from praying for them, that's for sure. Yeah. But uh, never give up, mm -hmm. never give up. Because I'll tell you, God's always there. And He's willing and He's ready anytime. Yeah. Yes, yes. And uh, we have a number of requests in tonight, but. Uh, we will just pray for all of them. Uh, Donnie Napier from Clay County, he's uh, he's at home from the hospital right now with uh, hospices helping the family. So we need to uh, remember that family. And then there's others here that's uh, got physical needs. And, and you know, when you're on the phone, you pray with these people anyway already before they come, before these papers come down. And if you're wondering about what we read off of, okay, I'll show you. We have these little printed papers, and uh, and it tells the the name and who called and what county they're from and what information. Uh, this one says a mother has called for a daughter from that has blood clot on her lungs. Okay, and uh, here's one from Lincoln County, uh, MRI. Another one is fallen and broke her shoulders, and. Uh, uh, so uh, on and on, the needs go as the individuals are, and so um, so we'll uh, we'll let uh, Dottie uh, anoint these and pray for them, and uh, uh, Peggy, we'll just be over here to agree with them, All with right. her, and uh, 
and so now you pray too, and because <clears throat> some of these folks that call in, they've got problems just like we do. Can't sleep or can't eat or uh, you're sick some way or your uh, your family's in stress and and so forth and so uh, so we just got a few minutes, Dottie. Okay, I already <clears throat> put some on it. Okay. Heavenly Father, God, we come to you tonight, Lord, because we know, God, that we can talk to you any time, Lord. It doesn't make any difference day or night. Yes. Lord, you're always there for us, Jesus. We thank you for that, Jesus. We thank you for the people that have called in tonight, Lord. Yes. Lord, may you help with our situations, Lord. Lord, we can listen to them. We can talk to them. We can pray for them. But, God, without your intervention, God, problems are not solved. So, Lord, we give them to you, Jesus, tonight, Lord. We need your help, Lord. Lord, WLJC needs to stay on the air, God, because so many people have called in. So many people need it, Lord, because they are unable to go to church. They're in nursing homes. They're in hospitals. They're at home, God. Maybe something has happened that they can't go. But, God, we know, Lord, that you're always ready yes, to listen Lord. to them. Help us, Lord, up there to always be able to listen and be able to pray with people, God. Mm -hmm. Lord, I know, Lord, that it's important. Mm -hmm. It's important to be able to listen and talk. Yes. So, Lord, we always want to be in your will here yes, at this Lord. station, God. Yes, we want to do whatever you have planned. Jesus. But, God, we give it to you tonight. Bless Sister Margaret. Strengthen her every day, God. I know, Lord that people look forward to seeing her every night. Elvis. And we love her, Lord. We thank you for her being here, God. And Lord, we just hand you everybody that's called in tonight. Mm -hmm. We're depending on you, Lord, yes. to finish our prayers, Lord. Yes. How we praise you, how we thank you. Yes, in the name of Jesus, yes. amen. Amen. Can I say oh. hello to two young ladies in London? Huh? Can I say hello to you two young Oh yeah. There's two ladies that lives in uh, uh, community living in London, and uh, one's named Nellie and one's named Tori, and they watch. Oh, do they're they? handicapped ladies, oh. and they watch uh, WLJC. Okay. You want to say hi? All right. So that's Tori and Nellie. Nellie. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. All right, girls. Thank you for watching. We. You never got to, thought you'd get to see this one tonight, did you? <laughs> but she's a little shy, but uh, we. Yeah. But I, I really am thankful, and we depend so much on our phone operators, and so they're a vital part of this ministry. And I just thank the Lord that we can give them a little honor and credit tonight. And they're saying I'm out of time to hush and everything here. So, <laughs> all right, from all of us, we want to say good night, and God bless you. Thank you for being part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope that you are truly blessed and encouraged every time you watch. This program is made possible by your contribution and support. Would you become a financial partner of the Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? You can send your pledges of support to the Hour of Harvest, Post Office Box Y, Beattyville, Kentucky, 41311, or visit us online at www.hourofharvest.com. We also accept Venmo and PayPal. Just scan the QR codes to donate. May God bless you.